There's tons of people out there telling you how great it is to repurpose content, but no one's showing you how to actually do it. So if you'd like to learn how to take one video, maybe a YouTube video, and turn that into 10 videos, stick around. I'm going to show you some of my best workflow productivity hacks for repurposing video content. So the first thing is you need to have a video that you've already edited from start to finish and I'm going to show you how to cut it down into several clips, okay? So the first thing we need to do is load up our project, whatever that editing was, and you want to create a non-destructive editing sequence, meaning that you aren't going to destroy all the edit that you already did by tearing it all apart and I'm going to show you exactly how to preserve your original edit in case you want to save it for later. So we're going to go ahead and click in the window here where the project is loaded. This is a video I already edited. And then we're going to click on sequence and then go to make subsequence, which opens this new panel. I'm going to close this panel and I'm going to switch back to project view. Click in here. And let's give it a name to keep it organized. So I'm going to call this repurpose edit. Now I'm going to double click this to open it. And you can see here it opened in a separate window. So now all we need to do is we'll delete some of these graphics out of here since maybe this YouTube video is getting turned into some content for LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, whatever you want it to be. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is remove any subscribe graphics off the video, anything that you might've had in there that wouldn't pertain to the social network that you're going to upload the repurpose video to. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this introduction because I know that it's not part of a video that I would want to repurpose. Next, scroll ahead on the timeline and hit the M key around 15 seconds to add a marker. Then go up to 30 seconds and do the same. Essentially what you want to do here is give yourself some visual cues for how long the clip is going to be because you're going to end up with clips at varying lengths. So if you want lots of clips under 60 seconds, then go ahead and put a marker there under 60. So now next, what do we do? I'm going to clear this off and I'm going to listen to this clip and see if it makes sense to turn into a repurposed edit. So I'm going to just going to listen back. I'm not going to make you listen to the whole thing. Now I already know that this one works. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and slide it over. Essentially, you're just looking for a logical place in that video clip to stop it so that you can just make a cut there. And the next thing we will do is add in your logo, graphics, branding, whatever you might have if you want to do that. Then highlight these two together. Right click, click on make a subsequence and close this panel, switch back to project view and give it a name. I was talking about personal branding and the power of video in this clip. So I'm going to name it appropriately because it's going to make it so much easier when you look at your project later on and you've got all these clips, you need to know what they are and what the subject is. Now keep in mind, you may not have a perfectly good idea in this video clip. That's okay. All you need to do is write out some extra context in your post when you go to post it on LinkedIn or Instagram, wherever you're going to put it. If you're getting any value, please smash that thumbs up button. I always appreciate it. It helps this video perform better. All right. And now I have a subsequence here, so I'm going to delete this out of here. And then I'm just going to check these next two clips. I'll bring them over, listen to them. I can see right here, they're just over 15 seconds. So maybe I want a longer one I can add this guy into. The video that I'm editing right now is actually a tip video, which is highly repurposable. So if you create a tip video for YouTube, say it's like eight tips to do X, whatever you might do, then you can repurpose that very easily into several pieces of content. Essentially what you're doing though is just looking for a place where you can actually end it. And part of this is also camera presence. When you're delivering a message, finding those moments to end succinctly is gonna make this whole job much easier for you.
So what if you want some of your videos to be in different aspect ratios, meaning one to one, like square, maybe you want vertical nine by 16 for things like TikTok or Instagram reels. So I can now click on these clips in here that I've already created. I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna to go to auto reframe sequence. And then it's gonna ask me, what do I wanna do with this? I'm gonna go vertical nine by 16 and then I will click on create. Now it's gonna create a new folder with sequences that are auto reframed. Now, you, did you see that? It just popped over. So it's automatically analyzed all the frames in the video and it has optimized it for a vertical video. Let's just play this back really quickly. It looks good, it's all centered, so that's great. Now it's not a perfect tool, but I've actually seen that this auto reframe technique works great. Now when you're done cutting this all up, you want to batch export your videos so that you can save some time. I'm gonna go by the aspect ratio. Take these two clips, I will right click on those, export media. Once you've done that, then switch over to your other aspect ratio. Maybe you have your nine by 16 clips, do the same thing. Go in the folder, highlight them, and export them all at once. I've got one more quick tip for you, and that is a new feature in Premiere Pro. Check this out. I can go to Sequence, and then I can click on Auto Transcribe Sequence. It can automatically listen to the video and then write out a blog post for you in here and you can actually have automatic caption generation with Premiere Pro now. Isn't that great? If you'd like to see more on how that works, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video for you. So what if you don't really like Premiere Pro? Next week, I'm gonna be releasing a video for you. It'll be up here once it's out that will show you how to use a better program if you're more of a reading writing style person and you want to be able to edit your videos by text. I'm gonna show you how to do that and how to turn your video into a blog post. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and remember, make it super simple.